In today's video, we're going to look at array formulas, first of all, to look at the biggest change in values. So we'll look at an array formula to calculate the change between last month's values and this month's values and return the greatest change. And then secondly, we'll use the index and match function to work out which sales rep has the greatest change in values. So the first part of the formula is relatively straightforward. So it's equals open bracket, the second range minus the first range. Let's put the first range in brackets. And then wrap that in a max function. And then press Control Shift and Enter to wrap it in an array formula. Like so, and press Return. So the biggest change is 3,500. So the biggest change between this month's value and last month's is 3,500. But as yet, we don't know which sales rep that applies to. Now we can use the match function to find out where the biggest change occurs. So we'll have a look at that first and then the index function and then finally we'll put the index and match functions together. So if I put in the formula match, so it's looking for a search value, so it's this value here. And then looking in the array, or the along in the range C2 minus C7, C2 to C7 minus B2 to B7. And then comma zero it just says if we don't have an exact match, don't have an exact match for this 3500, don't return anything. Press return and then control shift and enter because it's an array formula. So it returns the value three. So what that actually says is that the biggest change occurs in position three of the range one, two, three. So it actually it occurs on row four, or position three in the range. So we know now that the change relates to the sales rep Bob. Now we can use the index function to actually return the value Bob. So equals index. And this time the range is A2 to A7, the list of reps. And then comma, the row reference of three. Close bracket, or the range reference of three. And that returns Bob, because Bob occurs on row three, where the biggest change of 3,500 occurred. So putting that all together, so it's equals index open bracket, so the range of sales reps, then comma, so and then the lookup value, so it is returned by the match function. So the match function is looking up, it's using the lookup value of 3,500, comma, open bracket, then it's the second range minus the first range, close bracket, comma zero, so because we want an exact match on the 3,500, close bracket, close bracket, and then control shift and enter, press return, and it returns Bob. Thank you for watching.